In speaking with IGN, Mark Miller, writer of the Old Man Logan comic book storyline and Fox Studios creative consultant, explained how an Old Man Logan movie could work without some of the comic book storyline's important supporting characters that are owned by Marvel. In the interview, Miller stated... They're not important to the story. The way I work that thing is I actually structured it as I broke it down mechanically. I figured out going from this part of America to that part of America and what he would encounter along the way. And then I added in the adversities later. Basically, Wolverine doing the road movie is the important thing. And he has a friend, a blind Hawkeye with him. But that friend could be Cyclops and he could be blind by the fact that his ruby quartz visor is broken and he has to keep his eyes closed the whole time and everything, but still insists on driving the car they're crossing America with. There's lots of stuff. Instead of the Hulk, you could have the blob or something. Schnepp, what do you think of Mark Miller's statement that old man Logan could work without several key Marvel characters? It's a great statement and it's very true. I mean, if you if you read old man Logan, of course they have like, they have a lot of stuff that's like homages to all different kinds of superhero stuff. They have the spider buggy, mm-hmm. which is really just a toy, which was always like <laughs> stupid to me. Even when I was a kid, he's like, why does Spider-Man need a car to drive up this building? He can crawl. <laughs> but I still wanted that spider buggy. So I think, you know, Fox is going to be really smart about just re- and it's really a smart idea. Replace the Hulk with, you know, with the blob, replace Hawkeye with. Cyclops. You can replace every single character instead of you know of Captain America Shield and Red Skull. You can have them replaced with whoever they've got, the, whoever they want to put in for the adversary for you know Logan to fight within the structure of the story. Old Man Logan. You've, it's it's a. I think it was six issues when it came out, so it'll get condensed and cut down to make it movie size anyway. But I don't think any of the you know Marvel characters that Fox doesn't have will make the film any less better. So. Well, I mean, he is the original writer of the storyline, so I trust him. However, I don't know if he would be saying these exact things if he wasn't a creative consultant for Fox, and he probably has something to do if they are doing an Old Man Logan movie. Maybe if he wasn't involved, he'd be like, how dare you change all my my story ideas? I I, I don't know if him saying they're not important to the story is exactly right. But yes, they can make it work with other ones. The one that I'm a little hesitant about is the Hulk. Just because the uh, the storyline has his offspring kind right. of factor into right. that. And how do you do that with the blob? I'm, I'm not too just sure. The, same, the inbred, we're just a whole bunch of giant fat people. Yeah. Just like really, and when I say fat people, I mean fat people like giant 500 pounders who are immovable, like the blob. He'd always be like, come at me. And you'd be like... Poof. Well, that's interesting to me because that was the weakest part of his statement was it sounds like he's he's put some thought into this, but nothing on paper yet because he's like, oh, we just replaced the Hulk with the blob or something. I don't know. Like, it's, He didn't seem like he had fleshed that part out all that much. I like hearing that the host of Heroes isn't that upset that they might make some changes. That gives me confidence because if you do have to lose a Hawkeye, you have to lose a Hulk, what you replace them with is the more important thing. And we've seen Wolverine have interactions with the characters that Mark Miller's talking about Mm -hmm. on screen before. So there is some sort of history with the movie going audience, even if the comic book audience isn't going to be a huge fan of those changes. And look, look, Mark Miller, a lot of what he does turns out really, really good. So I would have a lot of faith in that guy if they were doing an old man Logan movie. All I have right. a question for you, Schnepp. Uh, who would you replace uh, Red Skull with then out of the X-Men or whoever Fox owns? Boy, well, I mean, obviously they're doing Apocalypse right now. I'd make a Mr. Sinister. I mean, there's okay. a whole bunch of different characters that they haven't even touched on yet in the X-Men universe. You know, and the X-Men have all the different X-Force. You have new mutants. You have this whole giant universe of mutants. So any one of them can replace them. And I think it'll it'll work really well. Plus, remember, no one really reads comics anymore. So no one's really going to be, no one will know what's missing. Well, the casual but, fans won't know, the very, but yeah. the people like the, you and The me, hardcore fans, you, the one percenters will know, like, how come the Hulk's not here? Everybody will be like, shut up, I'm trying to enjoy my movie. <laughs> yeah. Where's so, the spider buggy? Yeah, where's the spider buggy? I've been denied. <laughs> They're not going to care, you know, so. I mean, I think that a movie's a movie and a comic's a comic, so they'll make the appropriate change, changes. And that they have the original writer from the comic in there to consult is just that much better. So. Okay. 